Here's a question for you. Can you give away something for free and then make seven grand a month without selling a damn thing? Stay tuned to find out. Being an entrepreneur sounds like, yes, another new client. I did it. But it can also sound like, I am really not understanding this technology and I'm feeling so overwhelmed. Am I even cut out for this? That's why I started the Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast to help infopreneurs, coaches, and course creators who want to build a business online but are battling technology, overwhelm, procrastination, and even imposter syndrome. Think successfully, think differently, think bigger, and take action by learning tips from an array of business owners, all dropping knowledge on the Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast. Check us out at www.darkhorseschooling.com. What is up? What is up? What the hell is up, my Dark Horse friends and family? Welcome back to another dose of giveaway marketing learning. I am your Dark Horse host, Tracy Brinkman, and I have been in the coaching course creation online space since like the 90s. So clearly got a little experience under my belt. But here's the thing. I'm still learning. And that's what I'm here to share with you, what I have learned and what I am still learning about course creation, coaching, entrepreneurship, and infopreneurship. So it begs the question, why are you here? Or more important, who are you? And that, my friend, to me is infinitely more important. You are a driven entrepreneur. More specifically, perhaps an infopreneur with or seeking a coaching and course creation model in your business. Or maybe you're just hoping to have that very, very soon. Either way, you're here because you're ready to start, restart, kickstart, or just start leveling up with some great marketing, personal or business tips and results in order to build that beautiful business of yours into the empire it absolutely deserves to be. And that, my friend, is why I'm here hitting you with another solo success episode coming to you straight from the Dark Horse HQ as we dive deep into your infopreneur and coach creation success dropping some actionable advice, tips, and steps designed to help to help you level up your game. Why? Well, because as we all already know, there are no shortcuts to success, except for taking those little steps towards your goal every single day. All right, so like I asked it's a, the starting question, can you give away something for free and make $7,000 a month without selling anyone? Hmm? Well, if you listen to the previous episode, it's possible to do it that way, right? It sounds crazy, I know, but I'm going to give you a completely different example, completely different business model today as another example of how you can do this. And let's let's talk about Bob. Now, Bob's not his real name, but that's the name we're going to be using with him today. Now, Bob wanted to enter the online marketing space, and he knew next to nothing about how to get started. So maybe you're like that, right? Are you a Bob? Yeah. Like so many new marketers, he bought a few products here, bought a few products there. Uh, unlike so many new marketers, he actually devoured them. And then he went and bought into a high-end coaching uh, coaching group, right? It was a group, high-end group coaching program. And the gist of the program that he bought into was teaching him exactly how to do a major six or seven figure launch. We've all heard about them, right? You've seen them online. You probably got the Facebook ads just popped up in your face. You're like, holy cow, that thing is so damn expensive, right? Now, here's the thing. Bob learned a lot about launching a product, but Bob also learned that he had zero, and I say again, zero interest in doing it himself, but yet he paid $4,000 for the course. How in the world was he going to make his money back on that course? Uh, he didn't have a clue. Yeah, he didn't know. I, was, I have no idea. But what he did know and is that he wanted to build a list, and that's what he started doing. He didn't sit around while gagging in his, uh, you know, well, I spent $4,000. No, he went ahead and got started building his list. And since he knew something about product launches, which he learned in a $4,000 course, that's exactly what he made his list all about. Bob was selling products to his list right? And they weren't his products. And he knew that if he wanted to make a lot of sales promoting the launch of another product as an affiliate, then he would have to offer a very special bonus of his own, something they couldn't get anywhere else. Now, mind you, if you've been in the online marketing world probably longer than 30 minutes, 
uh, you've probably looked around and seen someone you know, offering, wow, everyone seems to be promoting this new product, right? Video this and YouTube that or whatever the program is. Uh, there are places where you can go see what all the new launches are. And then these places get affiliates to uh, launch their help them launch their programs. Now, what was the most valuable th thing, personal thing that Bob could offer? Hmm? And if you're ever going to get into affiliate marketing, this is a question you'd ask yourself. He decided that he was going to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation about launching a product. Hmm? Bam! Lo and behold... Bob May Sales and booked the free consultations with these customers. And the customer said something very interesting to Bob during this during this conversation. So this is what I talked to you about in many of episodes of late. Um, listen to your customers. You need to listen to your tribe. And Bob listened. And what he heard them saying was, you know so much about this. How did you learn to do product launches? Well, the first time he was asked him, asked this, Bob simply explained that he took this expensive coaching program and it taught him everything he knew. Now, the second time one of his customers asked him this, ah, he got an idea, right? That little light bulb went off over his head. Yeah, yeah. So what Bob did, Bob went and called the coaching center where he took that class. Yeah, they have their own call center where they sell the coaching and Bob talked to the guy that ran it. And he asked if he could get a 50% commission on referring students to their coaching program. And guess what? Yeah, he could. They're probably already paying more than that to the very salespeople that are behind the phones. Now, if Bob could save them the time and bring someone to them that was already sold, of course they're going to pay him, right? So Bob called back his two customers and told them more about how great this coaching program was and asked if they wanted to know more. Here's what happened with that. Both of those customers from those free consultation calls that he offered them purchased the coaching that Bob had done and he instantly made back his $4,000 and then some. Here's the long story. Actually, let's make the long story short. Bob today makes a full-time income by giving away these free coaching se sessions and then talking up the very program that he paid for, the program that he took. Now, this particular program in the example sells for $5,000. But when a prospect would call up these uh, sales centers and plead poverty, they would reduce the price and right? work with them. Right? They know, you know $4,000 is better than nothing. And since it's a group coaching... It really doesn't matter whether the people pay 5000 or 4000 or, or whatever, since the workload isn't any different between 10 students and 100 students. Okay, maybe it's a little different, but you, you get my point. If 100 students are there and 90 students are there, the workload isn't any different. Now, if you're going to uh, try this, here's a few things you should know before you step out into this particular uh, model, uh, this business model. Choose a, I think the big thing here is to choose a great coaching program that comes with a ton of benefits and extras and is sold by professional salespeople one-to-one -one over the phone. This way, you'll feel good about promoting the coaching, but you also don't have to do any of the selling if you don't want to. Now, the next one, and this is one is probably the most important one, so I really want you to listen. Take the program yourself. Yeah, I want you. If you're gonna, if you're gonna make sure it, you're gonna offer it up to people, you probably, you probably should take the program, right? But hey, uh, I, I want you to go over there and buy that car because I think that car is pretty. And you've never driven that car. You know nothing about that car. That bar car could be a complete lemon. Person buys that car and finds out what a lemon it is, and everything you ever suggest to them in the future gets poo pooed. Right? So take the program yourself. Yeah, you need to do this. How are you going to speak intelligently about the program, what it's like and what it offers if you haven't taken it yourself? I'm just saying, okay? And you, you also need to know that these high-end group coaching programs can be, as I mentioned earlier, a little flexible on price. So when you're on the phone with the salesperson, plead poverty until they come down to a price that you can afford. And sometimes you might lose a couple of you know, um, 
benefits, no, not benefits, some of the extra add-ons that they, they offer up. They say, hey, well, sure, we can come down to that price, but you're going to lose X, Y, or Z, right? So anyway, um, if you're going to do this, what you want to do is you want to create some free content, right? Social media posts, blog posts, create reports, uh, the freebie reports we always talk about, create videos, YouTube, put them up everywhere. And I, you want to base all this content on the aspects of the coaching that you've received and use that to build your list. Mm -hmm. Now, when you promote slightly higher ticket products, such as software or courses or high-end programs, then offer your free consultation as a bonus, right? Just like Bob did, right? You're offering, you're trying to get them to sell some high-end ticket, you know, a few thousand dollars. A product or software or course, you can give them a free consultation if you have an expertise that, that is aligned with that. What you don't want to do is try this with a measly $7 ebook, right? For example, because you want to know, really, more than anything else, you want to know that you're speaking to people that are willing to pay real money for information and coaching. So if you're doing that for a $7 ebook, you're going to get a shit ton of people on your calendar. And maybe one of them are able to send the kind of money for the program you're trying to offer up. Now, if you go for a real one, you know, those ones that are a couple thousand dollars, now you're going to get some real people that are trying to make some real change in their lives and you can have a real impact. All right. Now, when it comes to your calls, you're going to wait and make those consultation calls at least 30 minutes and leave some gap, right? Be prepared for it to go a little longer, especially if your customer seems like they're a good fit for this high on coaching. During the call, obviously, you're going to want to be as helpful and as knowledgeable as you can on the call to show what you have learned via the course. I mean, you don't have to mention the course in the beginning, but keep in mind that I think it's more important to build the rapport than anything else, especially more important than showing off your knowledge, right? You're trying to be helpful. You're the kind of person that's trying to help those in your market. That's why you're listening to podcasts like this, because you're trying to help yourself. I'm trying to help you. Um, and so it's really more important about what you what value you can offer than what it is you know, right? Um, you, hey, here's, a, here's another idea. When you uh, make those calls to get your your commission set up, uh, you might want to work on getting them a special price. You could arrange for a discount for your customers so that the starting price could be, for, hey, man, the, the, the program is five grand. You can go look at their website. It says it all day, five grand all day long. However, if you get it through me, it's four grand. Now, let your customers know that there might be additional terms and special offers available, even if money is still tight for them. Uh, but they want to talk to their representative to find out what those current offerings and opportunities are. You're letting them know the price might be flexible without immediately giving away the farm, you know, so to speak. Now, you can even go out there and start uh, creating your own products, right? I'm a big fan of that. Keep everything for yourself and offer them at reasonable prices, you know. And again, we're not talking about $7 ebooks here. You know, we're talking about programs that are like, okay – $297, $497, something that you know, people are going to uh, really consider. And it's going to take a bite. And they're going to take, take the consideration seriously. And then you can send an email to your buyer's list offering them that free consultation for your business. Uh, and then as you're going through, gently find out on that call if they have any interest in next-level coaching. Realize that quite a few of them won't, right? They know what's up. Uh, some will, and that's all good. Let's say you talk to 10 of your customers for 30 minutes. That's four hours invested. And two of them are interested in the coaching. Okay? It's a fair, it's a reasonable expectation. One of those two buy, and the coaching that you sold them into uh, you know, pays you, or they pay $3,000. Right? Wouldn't even use the $5,000 example. Let's say they pay $3,000 for it. Maybe it's that $5,000 program that you negotiated the $4,000 on. They get on the call with the sales representative. They plead poverty and they offer them uh, $3,000, right? You still earned a 50% commission. That's 1500 bucks. That works out to $300 an hour for your free consultations. Remember, yeah, you, you've got 10 customers on the phone for 30 minutes each. That's five hours. You get 1500 bucks. 
That's not bad. 300 bucks an hour. I'll take that. Um, what else? Uh, what do you tell your customers? Well, you can mention how valuable the coaching was for you, how it turned your business around, what benefits you got out of it, how it's most, the, well, maybe you could even say how it's the most profitable investment you've ever made, so forth, blah, 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 blah. But I'm assuming that everything that I've just said would be true. You know, give them all the value and the benefits you got out of it. Then you can tell them that they get a big discount if they're interested. Remember, you called them up and made that arrangement. Now, here's an optional opportunity. You can sell the coaching yourself. Take the credit card info and pass it along to the sales office. Another optional idea here is when your customer is ready and has agreed, you get the salesperson on the call with both of you. Huh? All right, just that easy handoff. And instead of just saying, hey, go to this website and sign up and put me down as the person that referred you, you can actually get the person on the call and all three of you have a chit chat, right? Now everyone's winning out of this. And now, again, as I mentioned before, and I mentioned so many times on this podcast, don't forget to listen to your customers. See what his or her goal is. Give them some good information. Give them some solid advice and so forth. 80% of your call should be focused on helping that customer with only, you know, 10, 15, 20% of that devoted to you talking up this coaching opportunity. And if they're not interested, don't, hey, they're not interested. Don't pester them. Don't get all up in their face. Hey, you really need to check this out. No, just drop it. You'll never get them interested by annoying them. How many times have you ever changed your mind by some annoying, pesky salesperson? Y yes, I can feel you all shaking your head now. Here, here's the key. Have fun. The majority of the calls will not result in an immediate coaching sale. But here's the thing. If they're having fun, right? If you're having fun and the customer is having fun, then it's entirely possible that when they are ready for that coaching, next month, two months from now, next year, and you want to leave that door open and you've done so by, you know, not pestering them, by keeping that ongoing relationship warm, yeah, then at that time, when they're ready and yet you have left that, wisely left that door open, they will quite probably step through it, right, without you ever having to push them. In other words, be the person they want to, to talk to when it comes to the topic of your expertise. Oh, and, they, and they want to talk to you over and over and over again. So if you have a customer who keeps wanting your quote unquote free advice, let them know the need to get coaching or start paying for your coaching. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and I was actually listening to uh, one of the ladies that uh, helps coach me. And uh, that very question was asked of her. She was coaching a group of us. Huh? You hearing this? I do group coaching as well. Um, and uh, she said she does offer free advice to those in her circle, her sphere of influence. And the, the example was actually asked of, of a friend who was saying, what about friends and family? And said, well, yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to give them advice that first time. And actually, if they, even if they're not you know, a friend or family, I'll give advice free that first time. But if I see they don't do anything with it, well, then I'm not going to be so free with it the next time. My time is valuable as is theirs, and they're not showing how valuable either one of our time is if they're not using it. Um, if they don't buy the high-end coaching, you could always offer your own coaching services to them. They may feel uncomfortable with you. You know, then you could charge appropriately. Think of your own personal coaching program as a downsell from the big coaching program that you're promoting. Hmm? Maybe you turn it into a course. So now you can even have a downsell from that. You know, I'm, I'm big on courses. So you can take the very content that they're going to be giving in that and they're going to, you can you know, structure it down where they're getting some of it via the course. And then you can bring a few of them on a call and you have your own little group coaching program. <laughs> right? And if they won't take the expensive coaching program, they might be willing to let you coach them, especially if it costs less. Hmm? There you go. And if you do not take your own coaching students, scratch that. If you do take on your own coaching students, be sure to let them know it's a stepping zone. 
And they may find in a few weeks or in a few months that they're now ready for that next level, which is that next high-end coaching program. If you don't want to start your own coaching or maybe even that you're already maxed out, uh, you don't want to have your own coaching program as a downsell to this high-end coaching opportunity that I'm explaining is this whole business model. Maybe you have an affiliate program hmm? or your own program. Again, like I said, like a course that you can offer them that take them to that next step. It's all about having a the right offer for the right situation. And you'll learn that by listening to your customers. It's all a matter of evaluating their needs and then offering the best solution for them, not for you, not for your wallet, not for your bank account, but for them. And as long as you keep them front and center and giving them the right solution for them, they're going to keep coming back and they're going to send more people to you. If you feel it might be worth it, schedule a follow-up call in a couple of weeks. It possibly, be, you know, maybe they're ready for that next step. Then um, it's always a great idea to follow up in one form or another you know, uh, via an email, at least certainly give them a, a call in a couple of weeks and say, hey, I was just looping back with you and seeing, you know, where you're at. We had chatted about A, B, and C. Have you tried some of the things we discussed on the call? Um, are you ready for more information? Uh, whatever it is, whatever makes sense for you to share with them on that email or on that phone call. And if they don't pick up the phone, leave the voicemail. Don't just go, hey, I was just trying to catch up with you to see if you wanted to learn more about that high-end coaching program. No, right? That's that pesky thing we talked about. Hey, it's Tracy. I was just thinking about you as I was going through my calendar and I see it's been a couple of weeks since we chatted. And I know during our coaching call, we had talked about, you know, you trying this out and trying that out to help improve your, you know, your conversions and generate you more sales. I was just curious, did you try those? Did they work for you? Just give me a quick call back and let me know, right? Whatever makes sense for you. You're sincerely concerned about them, and they'll call you back and you start a conversation and you direct them in the right way for the solution for them. All right. I, I, I'm going to step down off my uh, high horse now. I, sorry, step down off my uh, soapbox and stop preaching. And in our next episode, we're going to talk about the number one discounting mistake that marketers are making. Plus, I'm going to share a little tip on you on how to retain members longer. But in order to get that and all the other uh, value-packed episodes, you know, value-packed, you feel they're value-packed, right? I try to drop nugget after nugget after nugget in here for you. But to keep getting uh, all the, the, to get that episode and all the other value-packed episodes, you probably want to go down there and hit subscribe, whatever platform you're on. Hit the subscribe button. And if you can, leave us a five-star rating. Leave us some kind words in the reviews, especially on Apple and, and Spotify. And it's really not so much for me. And here's the – well, it is. I'll be honest with you. It, it helps me. But here's the real, real reason I think you want to do it. Because it is those subscribes, ratings, and reviews – are your way of telling the podcast platform that you're listening to me on right this very moment that you're getting some value. And they'll offer you up similar podcasts and similar uh, opportunities to continue to get more value. And what they do for me is they give me a little bump up so I can reach more driven entrepreneurs like you. So please take a moment, show the love, and help spread the word. I appreciate you. All right. You get out there. You run your race. You get your results. And then come let me hear about that. Seriously, here it is, Tracy at DarkHorseSchooling.com. Tell me the tip or idea that you came away with, how you put it in action, and what results you got from it. Send me an email. Put it in the reviews. Just write that out right there. I read every single one of those reviews or use that email address I just gave you. Who knows? Probably bring you on the show and let you share your story. Maybe make you the next case study. Until next time, think successfully and take action. Thank you for listening to the Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast. Thank you, Elvis. Thanks for tuning in. Check us out at www.darkhorseschooling.com. All right. My name is Tracy Brinkman.